The Sanibel Island Causeway Bridge was ripped apart by Hurricane Ian. Drone footage taken today shows severe structural damage. As you can see, a large section of the island fell off into the Gulf, cutting off access to the Barrier Island, where about 6,300 people usually reside. Hurricane Ian hits southwest Florida pretty hard, leaving a path of destruction across much of the region. And Robert, we've already, uh, incredible images there, we've already heard of some of the deaths coming out of Hurricane Ian in Florida, but it's not over yet, right? It's going to no. make landfall again. It will. Now, not as strong mm -hmm. as it was when it hit Florida. It will hit the South Carolina coastline as probably a Category 1 storm, so that's pretty good news. Everybody always suffers the most from the flooding, and of of course, even a Category 1 storm is going to bring lots and lots of rain to South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia. It's not over yet. 85 degrees at the airport right now. Winds coming in from the southeast, 10 miles per hour, dew point 35, 17% relative humidity. I've got good news for people that like it on the cooler side. High temperatures only in the 70s by the middle of the week. Here are the high temperatures so far today. We squeaked out an 85, and we should be very close to that again tomorrow. 82 Alabagordo, 81 Las Cruces, 82 Deming, and 83 for Van Horn. A look at the satellite radar composite. Now we'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the night tonight. We've had thunder showers out over southern Arizona. We'll see a couple of little spotty showers in western New Mexico, and tomorrow we'll even get a chance of a couple of drops here in El Paso. Nothing major tomorrow. Here's the latest on Hurricane Ian. Of course, it slowed down. Land acts as a speed bump for a hurricane, sucking the energy out, but then once it moves moves over the warm waters of the Atlantic. It just spins right back up. Sustained winds at 75 miles per hour on its way to the coastline of South Carolina before breaking apart through the southeastern United States. This is the structure of your atmosphere. Of course, flooding expected in the Carolinas as Ian approaches. We've got a low pressure system out in the western states. That's even going to bring a mixture of snowfall to parts of Idaho. Down here, we'll see some little scattered showers. I've drawn the line to include Las Cruces and El Paso with the best chance out to the west into Arizona. We do have another tropical storm, Orlean. This one is concerning because it will turn back toward Mexico, strengthen into a Cat 2 storm before crashing into the Mexican coastline. It will deposit significant amounts of moisture over Mexico and central Texas. Here are the temperatures right now. 79 Alabagordo, 82 Deming, 81 Juarez, and 82 in Van Horn. Lows tonight going down to 57 Alabagordo, 55 for Deming, 61 Juarez, 60 Van Horn. Highs tomorrow very close to where they were today. 81 Alabagordo, 84 Deming, and 85 for Juarez. Tonight, partly cloudy for Los Cruces low temperature 57 degrees tomorrow 83 the high temperature with a couple of drops possible tonight 60 low at the International Airport tomorrow will turn mostly cloudy at times couple of drops nothing major high temperature right at about 85 again tomorrow only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather will par be partly cloudy on Saturday with a high of 86 perfectly sunny Sunday with a high of 84 82 and sunny on Monday Thunder showers late night on Tuesday, and look at that. 75 Wednesday, 79 Thursday, back to the 80s Friday. Don't go anywhere.